On your way. We'll finish this later. Something I should know? Is it necessary for you to know everything? Is this a rule I've previously been unaware of? I was just asking, Dorian. Is that so terrible? You don't think that if I had something to tell you, I would? I don't know. Would you? There are many rules at Skyhold. Didn't you get the instructions? Clearly the messenger misplaced it. A shame, considering one of the rules is no strangers in Skyhold without my approval. You have a problem. Me? A problem? Why? Whatever could you possibly mean? Out with it. You clearly want to say something. As you wish. That man is a ship captain. I'm arranging travel back to the Imperium. When? When this is done. When Corypheus is dead, or I am. Then I'll be in urn traveling. You're leaving? But I thought we... We what? Am I supposed to pretend that there's something still between us? You don't need to. There's a place for you here. A place? Oh yes, I'm well aware of what my place is here. And what? You were going to sneak out in the night without a word? Why not? The only words I have for you are rather choice. <sighs> Why wait until then? Go now. And give everyone the satisfaction of pretending no Tevinta ever stood against Corypheus? Tempting, but no. What do you mean by that? What do I mean? You must be joking. There are so many issues I could raise. Where should I begin? You could have made a deal with the Elven Sentinels. We could have learned from them, but no. It's obvious. There's no reason to remain once Corypheus is defeated. He's the real enemy, but you. Watching you spread across Thedas like some cancerous growth sickens me. So much for us. Feel better? Do you? I can't say I'm not a little relieved. This wasn't going anywhere good. Good luck against Corypheus. Send him my best. I wish it didn't have to end this way. I don't have to agree with your choices or even like you. I'm here for one purpose only. Too bad. It really seemed like it was going somewhere promising. I'll help against Corypheus, if you let me. But afterwards, I shan't linger. I'm not here to be your friend. Too bad. It really seemed like it was going somewhere promising. Just go. Now. You're kicking me out? I should have seen this coming. You and I, what a laugh. Good luck against Corypheus. Send him my best. There must be some reason you haven't left. You can't want to stay. Why? I have to be fond of you to agree with what you're doing. I do think you blunder about, Inquisitor, thrashing like a caged dragon at everything that displeases you. I still believe Corypheus needs to be stopped, and that I need to be here to help stop him. Why is that so vital to you? There must be a reason. I'm just whimsical that way. Of course there's a reason. I don't want your help. I don't need it. At the moment. That could change. Oh. You think you would be such an immense help against Corypheus? If you'd let me, yes. I have every reason to put my life on the line here. Corypheus is... was a magister. He represents everything dark and terrible in my country. I have to help. Even if it means I stand on the sidelines watching, I'll do it. I need to know he's defeated. If that's meaningless to you, then tell me to go and I will. No, I'm not asking you to leave. Excellent. Then let's not belabor it further. Fine. I want you to go. Right. I can't say I'm surprised. Give Corypheus my regards. I'm sure he'll be a handful for you. I don't like what you're doing. If we don't help people here, I will find another place. You don't care about people. 
Cole, the Inquisition has done some things that might look... No. I don't have time for this. I won't take long. What's that supposed to mean? What I said. You don't care about people. And I don't have to stay here. Cole, I don't want you to leave. You won't miss me. I knew you'd get out of control. I'm sorry, Cole. I'll miss you. No, you won't. I can't make you forget anymore. But you'll never see me again. You won't miss me. Forget. Is everything all right? Fine. I was just... Fine. Thank you. Inquisitor, we really need to have a talk about your methods. The way you run this place, you get results. I can't argue with that, but the way you do it... You leave a lot of innocent people ground into the dirt behind you. We're fighting an enemy who can tear open the sky. Some sacrifices have to be made. Well, there's always a war, or a cause, or an injustice. You think I haven't heard this rant before? You've said what you wanted to say. Are we done here? No. That was just the warm-up. All right, Varric. What should I do to fix this? Uh... Maybe try killing fewer people? Just a thought. I've never meant to hurt anyone. But you didn't think they mattered. This all that matters is the goal and fuck the consequences thing of yours. I've seen where that road leads. Anders was the last guy I knew who thought like that. And he was an abomination. What's your excuse? The world has enough problems, Inquisitor. It doesn't need another monster. Try not to become one. Here comes the hero of our age. Mighty tamer of the dreaded Mage Rebellion. Savior of Empress Selene. Champion of all Olay. Once lowly prisoner, now the fabled Herald of Andraste. A toast to you, my lord. Sitting in a dark corner. Drinking. Yes! What of it? It's pathetic. You're angry at me. Is that what this is about? Naturally. Isn't everything about you? What have you got to be angry about? Oh, what is it now? It is now what it always is. That makes no sense. You're drunk. That's a new one. Yes, we're all changing, aren't we? Everything's changing. And that makes you... unhappy. You! How could I think you love me? You of all men! Coddling the mages, encouraging them as if they didn't almost cost us everything. You played the damn game Olesians love so much, mincing around like the rest of them. I have watched you, even exalted you as you straddled the world. And I'm the one who raised you up. You speak as though I asked for any of this. Clearly you are innocent of all that followed. I have been such a fool. I'm doing the best I can, Cassandra. What needs to be done, remember? I do remember. Wherever you lead us, remember? I do remember. Then go. The Inquisition doesn't need you. How clear you make it. Corypha still lives. My work is not yet done. Leave me be, Inquisitor. 
Go do what you must. So you're being a shit. There, said it. What is... No, don't bother. I don't care about your words. People say all kinds of words. Fun, fair, but you're acting like a right ass. You were supposed to be different. So stop it or I'll have to... something. What do you need, Sarah? I need you to be who you were. Saving the world isn't easy. I have to do whatever it takes. Said every shit heel ever. What are you going on about now? You and the shite you get away with. You're punching down, hurting people. You've got power, but so's the baddie. Plus, if you make it all about you, how will I play? How will things get back to normal? I need it normal. You think you can walk away? If you're not the archer, you're the target. What is that? I don't even... Get your treacherous face out of my sight. Now! So you don't like me? Stay for them. You know, the people you wanted to help. Not fair. I don't care. I'm not supposed to care. Frig, frig, fine! Just for that pisshead Corifinis. Just. I am so stupid. Don't like it, there's the gate. Just like that? Knew it. Knew what you were. Good luck, Inquisitor. Good luck not being worse than losing. So you're being a bitch. There, said it. What brought... No, don't bother. I don't care about your words. People say all kinds of words. People? Me? People need you better than this. I... I needed you. Better. I can't be with this you. I'm the front line against the apocalypse and you're leaving me. You can't use that as an excuse. Corifinuts does that. Sarah, I did what I thought was best. We can work through this, you'll see. No thanks. I already know you can lie. Good, too. What has you so angry with me? You don't even see it. You had to work bloody hard to piss me off, and you don't even see it. You're punching down, hurting people, just like every other leader who uses leading as an excuse. Even if... Look, I need things normal in the end. People normal. I thought you cared about that. But... I was wrong. I'm stupid like that. I did what I had to do. If that means no more us, then... No more us. But we still need you, Sarah. For your fun. For the fight. Mouth made of friggin' butter, and you waste it. All right, I'll stay. I'll shaft Corifinus. The rest... Wish there was a rest, Tadwinks. Wish there was. You're the one with the problem. What? You're the one who doesn't trust me to do this right. So maybe you should go. I wasn't... No, it's fine, yeah? You can take your... everything and pound it. I never wanted any of this. I only needed... nothing. I don't need nothing. Goodbye, Inquisitor. Watch your friggin' breeches. Hey, shit hag. Warned you once, not listening to your pretty words again. I'm out. I don't suppose sorry would work a second time. Eat it. I'm leaving. You and the rest can go hang. Vivienne. My dear Inquisitor, whatever can I do for you? Why did I find movers changing all my furniture? I'm sure I don't know, darling. Perhaps your old furniture was full of lice and fleas. You're meddling with my fortress. Your fortress? Darling, Skyhold belongs to the Inquisition. I get the feeling there's something you'd like to say to me. I'm sure I have no idea what you mean. Why in the world would I want to talk to you? If this amuses you, go right ahead. I'll fix it all later. Oh, yes. Fixing things is certainly your strong suit, isn't it, dear? What exactly is this all about, Vivian? I'll speak slowly for you, my dear. I know it's hard to follow. This is ridiculous. Stop acting like a child, Vivian. Thus speaks the Inquisitor who has made so many mature and level-headed choices lately. Setting malcontents loose among the population with no safeguards to stop them should they turn into abominations. Very wise. Deliberately sabotaging my potion to spite me and killing an innocent man. Well done. 
I rearranged some furniture. Lives are not thrown into jeopardy by this. Perhaps a little perspective is wanted here. Quit the needling and the snide remarks. If you want to pick a fight, pick a fight. I'm not fighting with anyone, darling. You can't make me angry with a few words in a silly prank. What are you playing at? What was the point of this little prank? I merely wanted to see what you'd do. You are the current leader of the Inquisition. It's good to know your limits. And now I do. Be a dear and run along now, Inquisitor. I have so much to attend to. Whatever is the matter this time, dear? How can you possibly oppose freedom for your own people? You live in the world, Inquisitor. You have eyes and ears. The obvious cannot have completely escaped you. The world is not made up of mages and templars or circles and chantries. There is no us and no them. There are only people. People who must share a world which is not portioned equally among all. My own people want a larger share of the world, uncaring that they have already been granted great power. That's not their fault. They can't help what they are. Wolves cannot live peacefully among sheep, no matter how much they regret being wolves. Granting mages freedom doesn't take freedom from anyone else. But that's precisely what it does, my dear. It doesn't matter that the world isn't fair. We should make it fair. Fair to whom? The wolves howl and claw at the fences that hold them back. Take pity and you let them loose among the lambs. And what do the sheep do? Panic. And the scent of their fear drives the wolves to attack. But they destroy themselves, then, and they deserve it. Then how curious that you care what my opinion might be. Let them fight it out and see who is right and who is dead. You're taking the analogy a little far, don't you think? No. The example doesn't do the situation justice. Every creature knows a wolf. How do you recognize a mage? It will take time, but people can learn not to fear magic. One cannot unlearn a primal fear. Like fire or heights, it is not about prejudice. It is about survival. I care for the witch hunts that will come. I care for the angry mobs who string up mages on gibbets for the vultures. I care that my stupid brethren will kill and be killed by frightened people defending their families from monsters. I will stand in opposition to that, whatever you may do. You seem to have a problem with me. I don't like you. It's as simple as that. Now that that's out in the open, let's just get on with our work. There are more things at stake here than my personal opinions of you. Are you proud of yourself? Of what you've built here? How about the lies you've destroyed along the way? Give a much thought to those lately. Is this Inquisition all you wanted it to be? Because I'm disappointed. All I see is a gang of thugs led by a self-serving tyrant. This is what you truly think of my Inquisition. You expected me to see things differently. Perhaps I would think your actions were noble? Let's just say we're both disappointed. And leave it there. I do not control your course nor the Inquisition's, only my own. So do as you wish. I will not be party to this any longer. You've been both a thug and a self-serving tyrant. I would have thought you'd approve. I was those things. You know I'm not proud of it. If the Inquisition doesn't live up to your lofty expectations, I can have one of my thugs show you the gate. Don't trouble yourself. I know where it is. My lady, your actions of late have been troubling. I find myself wondering if you're truly the woman I thought you were. I've made some mistakes. Everyone does. You of all people should understand that. Are they mistakes? Or the first few steps down a treacherous path? It's not your place to ask me that. If those who love you best cannot question you, then who can? Or maybe you were wrong about who I am. Maybe you never knew me at all. What I know is that you're headed down a troubling path. You know I've walked it. You've seen where it leads. 
But you don't seem to care. I'm not sure we're right for each other. If you can't or won't stand by me, then this is over. You're right. Whatever this was, whatever we were, was a fantasy. Best to end it here. Things will be better, but I need your support. All right. I'm here. I'll stand by you as long as I can. This can't continue. There was a time when I couldn't stay away from you. That's changed. I'm just not sure about any of this anymore. After all I've done to free myself from the past and to make up for it, I can't... I can't let you lead me down this path, and I can't watch you take it. No. We'll think of something. We'll fix it. Some things cannot be fixed. So you're leaving me and the Inquisition. We need you. Call me selfish. Call me cowardly if you wish. Hit me if it makes you feel better. Fine. Do as you wish. I no longer care. I'm sorry. For whatever that's worth. Inquisitor? Tell me. How does it feel? How does what feel? Being you. Are you blissfully unaware? Or deep inside is some part of you banging on the walls, screaming? Being me feels great. Like pulling on a warm pair of stockings. Continue with your merry japes. It would be sad were you forced to examine yourself with a critical eye. Have I offended you in some way, Solus? Oh, in some way, yes. If you have a problem, say it. I don't have time for your feelings. Of course. Any criticism must be the crazy knife ear whining. Are you pleased to have the Grey Wardens on your side? Do you wish you could join their proud little cult? How long do you think before their next attempt to control something beyond their comprehension? I don't answer to you, Solus, and I don't have time for this. Of course, Inquisitor. I won't interrupt you further. So you're an expert on the Blight now, not just the Fade. Or are you just an authority on everything strange? If current wisdom suggests you corrupt yourself with darkspawn blood, any suggestion I offer would have to be better. The Wardens deserved a chance to redeem themselves. Their only purpose is to protect the world from something they do not understand. Something that corrupts them! Grey Wardens know more about the Blight than anyone else. They're our best hope of fighting it. If that is true, then... <sighs> Let us hope otherwise. For all our sakes, are you glad to have the Templars back at your side? A strong, proud organization founded on the fear of magic. What a wonderful job it has done. The Templars protect people. Yes! From thinking! The Templars have their faults, but I suspect we're going to be fighting more mages before this ends. Templars could have helped as part of the Inquisition, not as a separate entity dedicated to spreading fear. The Templars are a tool. I needed them intact. Regardless of the long-term consequences of their divisive goals, although I should watch my tone, I speak to a demigod after all, the Chosen of Andraste. Do you enjoy the worship? Does it make you feel infallible? Or do you see them as fools, gullible for their belief? You're welcome to think whatever you like. I believe I was chosen. So your great maker will stop anything terrible from happening? How's that working so far? I don't know if you've noticed, but people could use something to believe in. You give them a lie! Pride, defense, love of family, even the concept of the Inquisition, those are real things. You do them no favors by keeping them ignorant. But then, ignorance must be so appealing to you. I don't get to be picky about the tools I use. If the story gets me more allies for this fight, I'll use it. You're not gaining allies. You're gaining minions. Sheep driven by one false god to fearfully follow another. I should thank you, Inquisitor. I had spent time with few of your people before this. From the stories, I thought you all thuggish, simple and crude. Now? Now I know I was right. You have no idea what a comfort that is. I'm sorry you feel that way, Solus. Will you be taking your leave? No. No? We have a world to save. Until I see a better option, I will stay and lend my services to this Inquisition. Perhaps one day you will even listen. Happy to help, Solus. We should do this more often. We truly should. Now I know I was right. You have no idea what a comfort that is. <sighs> How entirely expected. By your leave, Inquisitor. 
Tell me something. Do you care about anything in the world beyond the Fade? Ah. Ah? The Inquisitor turns his hawk-like gaze to me, penetrating deep into my most secret desires. Only not. I care deeply for many things beyond the Fade. Just not you. If the Inquisition is going to succeed, I need everyone's support. No. You need everyone's obedience. I disagree. I'd like us to reach a better place. Then do something worth respecting, Inquisitor. Well, at least you're polite about it. You did ask. I am powerless to hide anything from the keen eye of the Inquisition. You're going to want to watch that attitude, Solus. Why? Do you have another expert on the Fade hiding around here? Are you absolutely certain you won't need me? I volunteered to help Inquisitor. Rattle the bars if you like, but I chose to enter this cage. Of course. Any criticism must be the crazy knife ear whining. Are you relieved to have mages back under control? Perhaps when you're done, you can leash them like the Kunari do. I don't hear of mages blowing things up where the Kunari rule. Of course. Everyone is happy under the Kune. What's a sacrifice for a few lives to keep people from discomfort? I wouldn't have had to do that if mages hadn't blown up quite so many chantries. Yes, I'm certain they did that with no provocation. Perhaps someday we won't need the circle. Right now, mages are too dangerous. Of course they are. They've been locked in a tower and told they're monsters all their lives. <laughs>